Hello! Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Ako si Mind Mover Nat, isa sa mga science communicators ng The Mind Museum, and welcome back to Mind at Home. Today's episode is especially brought to you by Locally. Before we begin, uh, we all know that the COVID-19 pandemic is still here. It is still present. So it is the reason why we are asked to stay at home and why schools and museums are still closed. Um, of course, we want to um, help slow down the spread of the disease by staying at home when there isn't anything important to do outside, by washing our hands with soap and running water for at least 20 seconds, and always wear your mask properly when going outdoors. It is also very important that we stay fit and healthy by eating fruits and veggies, taking in vitamins, and doing some exercise. So, okay, now, can we make learning a fun experience? So, syempre naman, kayang-kaya natin yun. Kaya nga, meron tayong Mind at Home where we will be doing science activities that even you can try at home. So, for the previous Mind at Home episodes, we have learned that fruits are good sources of antioxidants and that they can be used for scale models of the planets of the solar system. And we also knew some myths about them. But for today, we are going to figure out if these fruits that we have here can or cannot conduct electricity. So before anything else, let's talk a little bit about circuits. So a circuit is a closed conducting loop where electrons or charges flow continually. Now, it has three basic components. So first is the source, conductive path, and then the load. So for the first one, the source simply supplies energy. And a very common example of that would be batteries that we use in our remote controls or in our toys and many, many more things. The second one is a conductive path. So simply, it is simply where the electrons or the charges flow. So an example of that would be wires like this. And the third one is the, uh, um, is the load. The load um, simply um, converts electrical energy into different forms of energy such as heat, light, or even sound. So a very common example would, of that would be light bulbs and LEDs or light emitting diodes. Now we have here a simple example of a, a circuit. So we have here a battery. And then these small wires over here represent the conductive path. Now, the LED itself is the load. So if we just put them together, together to form a closed conducting loop, we can see that the LED lights up. So this means that current is flowing around, right? So we were able to, um, the LED was able to convert um, electrical energy into light. Now, imagine this circuit over here and compress it into a tinier size and place it on a board. You will have something that looks like this. So this rectangular over here is called the Makey Makey. It is a circuit board with um, a circuit on it. So it is, it is meant to connect everyday objects such as fruits to a laptop or a computer so that we can play a musical instrument. So now we can see here that I have attached several wires through to the holes of the Makey Makey. So you can see this white wire over here and this wire actually connects our Makey Makey to our laptop. So we need that because we need the help of a programming language called Scratch. So Scratch is a free programming software made by MIT and we will use the program to assign different musical notes or piano keys to each of these wires over here. Now, let's try it. So um, before I actually, before I begin, if you have any questions at any point of our Mind at Home today, please just type them down below and I will answer them later on. So let's begin and tignan natin kapag kinonek ko or kinonek ko yung black wire na to sa isa sa mga wires nito. Ano kayang mangyayari? So, let's try. Ayan. Naririnig nyo ba? Di ba may tunog? So, ibig sabihin, we were able to we were able to close the loop 
or the circuit. That's why electricity can flow from the computer through the wires and back to the circuit board. Now, subukan natin kung ako yung magiging bridge ng black wire at yung mga colored wires natin dito. So, sa tingin nyo, makakapag-conduct kaya ako ng electricity. So, hawakan ko to dito. Hawak ako ng isang wire. Yan. So, naririnig nyo ba? Merong tunog. So, ibig sabihin, the electricity was able to flow through this wire, through me, and back to this black wire. Kaya meron tayo, kaya nagkakaroon ng tunog every time I press each of the wires. Now, let's make it a little bit more fun by using fruits as our conductors. So, I'll just connect each wire to a fruit. So, we have calamansi. Oops. Dalandan. Lemon. Another calamansi. Mm -hmm. We have orange. Okay. Another um, calamansi. Ayan. Lemon. Then, dalandan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that I have connected all the fruits to each wire, let's see if they will be able to conduct electricity. So I just have to hold the black wire with one of my with my one hand, and the other I will use to um, press the fruits. So let's see. Ayan, naririnig niyo ba yung tunog? So we have proven that these fruits were able to conduct electricity. Ibig sabihin, conductive sila. Kasama na sila sa ating conductive path sa ating circuit. So, let's play a little game. So, magpa-play ako ng kanta and you can um, try to guess the title and comment them down below. Okay, are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, go. So, September na, nagsimula na yung Burr Months. So, that was Jingle Bells. So, I have another song for you to guess. Madali lang din to. Okay, so... Sana tama yung pagkaka-play ko. Um, pas pasensya na kung medyo um, nag-lag. Pero that was Leron Leron Sinta. Okay, so paano ba nangyari yun? How was How is it possible that these fruits were able to conduct electricity? So first, citrus fruits, citrus fruits such as these contain electrolytes in the form of acids. And electrolytes help, flow, uh, help the flow of electrons. So, they help electrons to move through the circuit. Now, electrons can either be acids, bases, or salt solutions. So, these fruits can conduct electricity, right? So, what else can we do with them? Um, we can also use these fruits as batteries if we um, place some uh, two different metal electrodes into it and then we can use them to 
uh, light up an LED. So how did that happen? So when you put the metal electrodes onto the fruit, um, chemical reactions re will occur. So if you know redox reactions, that's reduction in oxidation. Um, those reactions happen at the uh, metal electrodes. And then that will supply the electrons that would flow around the circuit that could even light up an LED like this. Now, you may ask, ano naman ngayon kung kayang magconduct ng electricity ng mga citrus fruits na yan? So, in humans, electrolytes actually help to conduct um, nervous impulses, muscle contractions. They also help regulate bodily fluids and even blood pressure and many, many different more um, body processes. So this only means that we need um, enough electrolytes in our diet so that we can, um, we can live a healthy life and we can still stay alive. Okay, so as you may have figured, a good source of um, electrolytes would be fruits and vegetables. Okay, so if you have any questions about um, this experiment or the concepts that I've um, mentioned or discussed, please just type them down below and I will try to answer them. Okay. So, yeah. For those of you who just um, clicked this video, um, welcome to Mind at Home. I'm Mind Mover Nat, and we have here a circuit, and we are using different fruits as our conductors. So, let's try to play some uh, notes. Have do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, and do. Okay, so, yan. Let's just play another round of jingle bells. Kasi September na, Bermans na, malapit, malapit na ang Pasko. Okay, so, let's go. discussion kanina, um, naging kaya natin gawing piano keys yung ating fruits dahil kaya nilang mag-conduct ng electricity. So, kaya silang daluyan ng electricity, kaya nakaplay tayo ng notes. Dahil meron silang electrolytes in the form of acids such as ascorbic acid and citric acid. So, we have one question. Can you use other items aside from fruits? So, actually, um, napakita na natin to kanina, di ba? Um, yung first example natin is, what if ako, or human, human yung conductor. So if I hold this black wire and then close the loop and touch it here, you will hear a note, right? So ibig sabihin, may dumaloy na electricity through me and through the wires. So anything that is considered as a conductor can be used um, in this experiment. So, pwedeng coins, kahit anong metallic uh, materials, um, pwede rin sigurong salt water, kahit ano na merong ions, or pwedeng um, kahit anong may electrolytes tulad ng may mga acids, bases, and salt solutions. So, yes, you can definitely try different um, items to for this experiment. Lalo na, Sayang yung fruit after nung experiment. Oh, by the way, uh, wag yun ang kainin yung fruit after nung itry tong experiment. Kasi syempre, kung ano-ano na yung ating nilagay. So, we have another question. Do you, do you have to always hold black wire to make a sound? Yes, we do. Because, kasi kapag iniwan lang natin yung wire na ganyan, hindi siya closed loop, hindi siya closed circuit. Isa siyang open circuit. Ngayon, kailangan natin i-close yung loop. Kasi ang definition natin ng circuit, circuit ay closed conducting loop where charges can flow or move through. Ayan. Pag pinagdikit natin sila, ayan. Merong sound. Ibig sabihin, kailangan talaga na i-close natin yung loop with this black wire. Ayan. Kaya lagi ko siyang hawak kapag piniplay ko yung 
ating fruit piano keys. Diba? Another, yun. Um, another thing, para kung switch, diba? Ako yung nagsisilbing switch ng ating circuit. If I hold the black wire and touch the fruits, ayan, may tunog. Pero kapag hindi ko siya hinawakan, kahit anong gawin ko dito, hindi tutunog yung ating fruit piano. Okay. So, if you have any more questions, please just comment them down below and I will try to answer them. Okay. Yan. Yan. Pwede rin kayong gumamit ng ibang fruits. Pwede rin apple, watermelon, kaya lang medyo malaki. Pwede rin potato or kahit anong vegetable. Basta ang importante, meron silang electrolytes na kayang mag-conduct ng electricity. Okay. So, thank you very much for watching today's Mind at Home. Just a reminder again, please stay at home to help stop the spread of the virus. And always wash your hands in, with soap and running water for at least 20 seconds and always wear your mask properly when going outdoors. And while you are staying at home, please follow the Mind Museum and social media for more Mind at Home videos and materials. If you try some of our experiments, and especially this experiment, Please don't hesitate to tag us and use hashtag mind at home. So, thank you very much and please um, stay tuned to this uh, fruit series of mind at home. We have another episode on Monday at 11 a.m. So, this has been Mind Mover Nat. Thank you very much and stay safe. Bye bye.